Hey Hinal, what's up? Hi Rohit, nothing much. I'm just done with the online payment of my insurance premium. Ah, uh, let me guess. You did it by Policy Bazaar? Yes. How did you know that? Well, it's an obvious answer. See, Policy Bazaar today has more than 90% market share in the digital space. So, uh, you know, 9 out of 10 people today are doing their insurance purchases and payments online through Policy Bazaar. Welcome to the Kota Cherry IPO Rundown. Today, we are taking a look at PB Fintech Limited, which is the parent company of Policy Bazaar and Pesa Bazaar and India's largest online platform for insurance and lending related products. So here we go, let's look at some of the details, let's understand in detail from Rohit. So PB Fintech as Hinal mentioned is the parent company for Policy Bazaar and Paisa Bazaar. Uh, Policy Bazaar as I mentioned earlier has almost 90% or more market share in the digital insurance space. So as you can see on your screen, PB Fintech is looking to raise uh, approximately 5,700 crore through this IPO which includes a fresh issue of 3,750 crore and an offer for sale for almost 1,900 crore. Offer for sale, uh, just to bring to your, uh, to your notice, uh, is where existing shareholders of the company offer their shares in the market. This money does not come to the company. Uh, the IPO opens for subscription on 1st November and closes on 3rd November. Uh, the price band is 940 rupees on the lower side and 980 rupees on the upper side of the price band. The lot size is 15 shares uh, and uh, in multiples of 15 thereafter, which means at the upper end of the price band, you have to invest minimum 14,700 rupees in the company. Thank you so much, Rohit, sharing for information. Can you share a few more details about it? Sure. So now that you know how much minimum is required to invest in one lot in the IPO, let me share some few more numbers with you, which will help you decide uh, in your investment uh, process. 93.4% as I mentioned earlier, this is Policy Bazaar's marketplace uh, share for all digital insurance policies sold in FI20. 48 million, that is the number of registered users as of March 21. 51%, this is the market share Paisa Bazaar has in the digital credit space based on disbursements in FI20. 51, this is the number of insurance partners. 54, these are the number of lending partners it has. Thank you, Rohit. I think these are some big numbers. Can you share more detail about this? Sure, Hinal. So let me share some of the fascinating facts about Policy Bazaar. Uh, it was founded in 2008 by Yasish, Alok and Avnish. Uh, Policy Bazaar is one of the finest examples of the startups that have come out of uh, India. Uh, it has over a period raised almost $767 million uh, through a clutch of marquee investors such as SoftBank Group, Temasek Group, Tiger Global, Premji Invest and InfoEdge. Uh, FYI, InfoEdge is the owner of uh, Nokri.com. It also is a dominant shareholder in Zomato. Policy Bazaar was launched in 2008 to simplify and digitize the insurance buying experience uh, for various users. And I must say it, they have done it quite successfully. Uh, in 2014, the company also launched Paisa Bazaar. Uh, which offers various credit products. For example, if you want to take a loan, if you want to buy a credit card, you can go to Paisa Bazaar and all these services will be available there. That's cool, Rohit. Tell us how did the company perform recently in terms of its financials? Sure. As you can see on your screen, uh, the key financials for the company. In 2019, it clocked a revenue of 529 crore. Whereas in 2021, it clocked a revenue of 957 crore, which is almost double. Uh, in terms of uh, bottom line, in 2019, the company had a negative PAT of 347 crore and in 2021, it had a negative PAT of 150 crore. So in substance, uh, over the last three years, company has been able to increase its uh, revenue substantially as well as contain its losses. So this is a solid improvement. Yeah. So what does the company intend to do with its IPO funds now? As I mentioned earlier, there are two components to the IPO. One is OFS, which is offer for sale, where some of the existing shareholders of the company will sell their shares. That money will go to the shareholders. That money does not come into the company. Then there is primary issuance of shares, where the money comes into the company. Now, the primary objective of uh, raising this money is largely expansion. Uh, the company will focus on investing more in its brands, which is Policy Bazaar and Paisa Bazaar. It will expand its customer outreach. 
it will look at expanding its global presence as well as it will look at some inorganic or growth opportunities that might come along its way so this in uh, some and substance uh, is is the uh, requirement of uh, this ipo the company is largely looking to invest in its future growth thank you so much rohit thanks for sharing this information it's so easy to apply for ipo on cherry now so we'll be soon back with our next session on the ipo and friends uh, do visit our website www.kotakcherry.com or download our uh, very new android app the ios app is coming soon uh, you can apply uh, on this ipo as well as you can find a whole host of various products on our website and the app thank, thank you thank you